Hello everyone, welcome to my Soldier 76 Helix Jump Tutorial Series, where I'll be showing you different places to use Helix Rocket to jump to hard to reach areas. This technique is known as Helix Jumping. In this video, we'll be looking at the Numbani map and several places where using Helix Jump can be effective. If you're interested in seeing more, leave me a message in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, dislike, and subscribe. Just outside the defending team's spawn area is a ledge you can jump to, with or without the fence intact. As you move away from the spawn to the right, there is a more difficult jump you can make up to the same ledge from one of the cars in the roadway. It can only be done with a well-timed jump sprint combination. From the ledge, there are a few different jumps you can make with either a helix jump or you can simply sprint jump. Here I'm showing that you can choose to either helix jump to this add column or sprint jump. This applies for the jump back as well. For the opposite end of the upper ledge, you can use these garden platforms to reach the overhang. As I'm demonstrating here, it's not possible to reach the top without a helix jump. I'm jumping from the platform, but you could also be standing on the rock to make it easier. A simple ledge I wanted to point out is this one near the final checkpoint. You don't need a helix jump, as a simple jump sprint will do the trick, and this spot provides great cover. Watch out for knockback abilities though, as the falloff is right behind you. This small platform for defenders is slightly annoying since the stairs are on the other side, favoring attackers. There's no way to jump sprint up top as I am demonstrating here. If you're in a pinch, you'll need to blow a helix rocket to make it up top. Another trivial jump is this one, again at the final checkpoint. It's more reasonable to take the stairs, but if needed you could get to this platform in a snap. This ledge near the entrance to the final checkpoint is interesting because it provides three things. This platform provides a higher elevation, the lower one provides cover by use of trees and bushes, and lastly it allows you to helix jump to the lookout ledge without going up the stairs. Position yourself right on the corner of this ledge to make it. This bus in the roadway is otherwise impossible to get on top of without the payload beside it, or by being already up there by taking the stairs in the building. It's then possible to jump sprint to the platform. Simply jumping will not work. From this platform, you can then jump to the statue, which will provide better cover. At the first objective, Soldier 76 has many options for jumping. You can use this corner to get up to some high ground, which you can then use to jump over to the upper left walkway. I'm also showing here that it's possible to jump back without using helix jump, and simply sprint jumping works. An interesting jump is this one where you can helix jump over the roadway to the other side. This can be used to get on top of the bus that's in the roadway between the first checkpoint and the attacker's spawn. Note that a helix jump is not necessary. I found that it was possible to get up to the lookout ledge here by using the tree as a jumping platform and of course sprinting midair to get a slight boost. In testing, using the bus to jump from was just too far away and too low to the ground to make it. Using the bus closest to the attacker's spawn, you can reach the bridge. You only need to use one helix rocket since you're able to sprint jump up to the bridge from the top of the bus provided the railings are destroyed. From here, another way to reach the lookout platform is available. Another way to get up to that bridge walkway in a pinch is to use this garden platform along the side of the building to helix jump from. Arguably only useful when you're in danger as you could just use the stairs. Lastly, the most difficult jump on this map is one just outside the attacker's spawn. You'll need careful timing and maximum height on the jump with mid-air sprint to get up to this platform quickly. If you like the content, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also catch me live on Twitch TV forward slash Nexium. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.